The kicker, Will Reichard, has the ball on the tee. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, here's Barkley again. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This is second and eight. They'll run it again with Barkley. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he's going to get this inside the 30. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Over the middle complete. Brad Smith. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that will bring up second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. First and goal. A good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And a nice pick up there. He gets about 5 down to the 4-yard line. Second and goal from inside the 5. Barkley again. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On the move to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Well, now how about this return? And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On play action, now McCarthy. That is pulled in by Michael Thomas. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now McCarthy. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain.
Now Chubb running right. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them pass it, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in the running game. And they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Call that a very strong gain of 24. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second and seven. Hurts. He's got Smith here. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as the tackle is made right at the 25-yard line. He'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. In motion goes the tight end. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Oh, able to avoid him. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. 77 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. They'll look to throw on third and goal, escaping the pressure right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 33, here's a second and seven. Working out of the gun is McCarthy. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. McCarthy off the play fake. 
Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. On play action, McCarthy. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time, it's third and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. Here's second and three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 32. He'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Back to throw again. Complete. Smith has it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. 
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Now the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Now a draw play. This is Jones. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. McCarthy operating from the gun. Justin Jefferson bringing in the slam. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Looking to throw McCarthy. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Here's second and five now from the 37. They go back to the ground with Jones. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now McCarthy. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. A give running right is Chubb. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Here's a second and eight. From the shotgun, McCarthy. Slant route and he's got Addison. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got him. And he'll get him. Touchdown, Minnesota. J.J. McCarthy keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Vikings have got it back to within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 13-7. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game? And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 113 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. 
And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 34 yard line. Hurts going to give this to Shipley. And the result here a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. to the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard short completion just four yards and it'll be second down we are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend and we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis second and six it's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight this offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And to find the open man, that's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll drop to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Being chased out left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. On play action, McCarthy. This is caught by Addison. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing is McCarthy. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Second and 10. Working out of the gun is McCarthy. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Stick him with a pass. Here's McCarthy. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a bat, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. Now third down and seven. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. From the 38 now, here's a second and five. To the air with McCarthy. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Third down and 10. Here's McCarthy. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll indeed go. Here's McCarthy. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Second down and four. They'll look to throw. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Hurts to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They'll look to throw again. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They'll set up a throw. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Elliott good on the extra point, And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. McCarthy operating from the gun. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Looking to throw McCarthy. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down from the gun, McCarthy. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. To the air again, McCarthy. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Second down and three. Now McCarthy. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now a second and ten. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. 
And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. From the shotgun, McCarthy. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. McCarthy going to throw again. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Over the middle and complete to Addison. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. As he'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. It's a five receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Aaron Jones with career touchdown number 70. And the Vikings have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth. Extra point right down the middle. And that cuts the lead to 28 14. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They go down to a knee and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that